listening to the Spectacular Magazine Radio Show on Foxy 107-104. Good morning and welcome to Spectacular Magazine Radio Show. I'm your host, Phyllis Coley, CEO and editor of Spectacular Magazine. Spectacular Magazine Radio Show on Foxy shines a spotlight on community issues that impact our neighborhoods. We are your community-focused resource. First, I want to thank all of you who came out to the Spectacular Magazine 14th anniversary celebration last week and thank for all the kind messages that you sent for those who couldn't be with us. We appreciate all of you. Spectacular Magazine and Foxy 107-104 presents the 17th annual North Carolina MLK Black History Month Parade and Block Party on February 2nd, 2019. Now the parade is going to kick off on, at on Fayetteville Street in Durham at 12 noon. The Block Party takes place from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the North Carolina Central University Student Union parking lot. This year's theme is Women, Power, and Revolution, and the Grand Marshals are Durham School Board member Minnie Fort Brown, who's the president of the North Carolina School Board Association, and Durham County Commissioner Brenda Howerton, who is the immediate past president of the North Carolina Association of County Commissioners. Deadline to enter the parade is or to be a vendor is January 6th. For more information, visit our website, spectacularmag.com. So, we are about to celebrate Christmas in two days. Are you ready? Are you just kind of ready for it to be over? Well, right after Christmas, the day after Christmas, we begin a seven-day celebration known as Kwanzaa. Joining me now and to tell you all about Kwanzaa are my two guests today. First I have the organizer of the 24 of the annual Cary Kwanzaa celebration, Dr. Lester Thomas, and I have the program director for the African American Dance Ensemble Kwanzaa Fest that takes place in Durham. Welcome. Welcome. Thank to you. Spectacular Good, morning. Mag Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let me start off with you, uh, Lester. First of all, kind of just give us a brief history of what is Kwanzaa, what it means. Kwanzaa is a Pan African celebration which celebrates community, culture, and family. And it's between the dates of December 26th and January 1st. And it was originated by Dr. Milana Karanga in 1966 out of California. And he's a professor. And he was the one that uh, established Kwanzaa during a time of civil arrest, unrest for African Americans. Mm -hmm. If you know a little about our history, specifically, uh, there were challenges that we had when it came to civil rights and human rights. And in North Carolina, in the South, we had Martin Luther King, who fought for freedom. We had Malcolm X in New York, and he also fought for freedom for African Americans. And in California, you had Huey Newton. So we had all of these components working for freedom and unity in our community. And Dr. Milana, spoke to that in a cultural environment. So Kwanzaa is a event that African Americans and people of all kinds can come together and celebrate around. But would you also say that it's an opportunity for people, that we as African Americans can celebrate us, but it's also a time for people of other ethnic groups to learn about us and our history. Demetrius, uh, let me ask you, so talk about, there. you got started with the, well, the Kwanzaa celebration here. You talked about it in New York and you talked about it in LA. But the Kwanzaa's here. There's a common man between both of you that helped to get you, that started these Kwanzas. Let's talk about him. We're talking about Baba, Baba Chuck, Chuck. Baba Chuck <laughs> Davis. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, Baba Chuck Davis um, started the African, I'm sorry, started Kwanzaa Fest here in the city of Durham in 19, it was 34 years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, we do it on January 1st. Um, so it's 34 years ago now. Oh, okay. All right. 34. So, Tell me about, so 
it's built on seven principles, seven. right, Lester? Mm -hmm. And actually, your company is named it's after one of those principles. Yes. The name of our uh, nonprofit organization is called the Ujima Group. Mm -hmm. And Ujima is collective work and responsibility. And I love that principle so much because that's what our community and what we are working toward. Being able to work together, to uplift our community, to do great things in our community. And what we try to do is to help young adults to understand the importance of good character and being able to give back to their community. Okay, all right, so listen, we are going to, we're going to take a break, we're going to play some music, okay? And then when we come back from, when we come back from the break, I want you each to tell us about your respective celebrations. What you have, I know there's a lot that's in common, but then there's a lot of things that are different. And the fact that they're not on the same day, so there's no reason that people could not attend both. And, and really be able to come out and do this. We're going to go to some music right now, and we'll be back, and we'll talk a little bit more about Kwanzaa. I'm Phyllis Cole, and you're listening to Spectacular Magazine Radio Show on Foxy 107-104. Spectacular. Welcome back to Spectacular Magazine Radio Show. I'm your host, Phyllis Coley. In the studio with me today is Dr. Lester Thomas of the Ujima Group, who is the organizer of the Cary Kwanzaa Celebration. I am also joined by Demetrius Holder, who is the program director at the African American Dance Ensemble, who is the organizer of the Kwanzaa Fest taking place in Durham. And let me just, right now, I want to go with you, Lester. Tell us when, where, and a little bit about the Cary. And this is, what year, how, how many years have you been doing this? Well, this is the 24th annual Cary Quanta. Okay. And it starts at 11 a.m. On what day? And it ends, on, that's on December 28th, and it ends at 5 o'clock p.m. And we have a real good lineup for you. We have our own Bradley Simmons, who's going to come, and he's going to play some great music for us. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have um, Folklore Institute, and that's Coco Jazz, an art and community founder, and he's going to have some great music for us. We're also going to have Sister Sadia, who's been a part of our family for so long with yes. Baba Chuck Davis. Mm -hmm. And we have a new up-and-coming spoken word young lady. Her name is Shannon Greer, and we're so happy to have her. And our final guest is going to be Mr. Elmo Gibson, who has played with some great artists in the past. So yes. we're just excited yes. to have a great uh, lineup. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at the Cary Art Center. That's 101. Dry Avenue, and we're going to do our traditional candle lighting, which is the libation, mm -hmm. the candle lighting, the Harambe Circle, and they're going to give me a proclamation, which I'm not supposed to know about. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we won't tell anybody. <laughs> so, you know, all right. And our theme, I just want to wrap up with our theme, it's called Working to Build a Kind and Just World. And when we think about Kwanzaa, we think about how we can come together as a community mm -hmm. and make this world better in our community, because it's focused on community, culture, and family. And we're going to have a great time, and we're looking so mm -hmm. forward to our community coming, and, De and Demetrius being here. And, and, how, and how much is it? How much is the mission? Free and open to the public. Okay, all right. So, Demetrius... Um, your celebration is on a different day, the one in Durham, Kwanzaa Fest, A-A-D-E Kwanzaa Fest. It is. It is actually on January the 1st, and mm -hmm. it is the last day of Kwanzaa, which is Imani, which also means faith. Okay. Um, this is our 34th year, mm -hmm. and we are excited um, about it. Our, our Where is it taking place? It will be at the Durham Armory, 212 um, Foster Street in the city oh, of Durham. Downtown Durham. Durham. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is, our again, our 34th year, and our theme is The Legacy Continues. Because even though we do not have, you know, our Baba Chuck with us anymore, we still want to let people know we are carrying on what he taught us mm -hmm. and left us. What can we expect at the Kwanzaa Fest in Durham? We have a great lineup. We have the Greater Destiny Mine. We have Pastor Richard Dawkins, KT Collective, Dance Company, the Diamond Elite All-Stars, Miss Perusia Jones, Sharon, and the Miss Full Figured 
Royal Court, mm -hmm. and also the Easy Boo Muntu from Richmond, Virginia. Oh wow, that's exciting! Yes. And and we have vendors at both events, yes, right? Vendors. Yes, vendors. So it's an opportunity to buy black. Yes. Okay, and that's always exciting. Always, always yes. exciting. So we've talked to you about Kwanzaa. Guess who just came in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> you all I don't even have to tell you just showing up in the studio now is Santa and we call him Santa Warren good morning good morning Phyllis. good morning and Santa <laughs> Santa is with an organization his organization is called Santa's just, just like, like me, me. Yes, yes. and because and you offer the black Santa experience that's correct and where will you be tomorrow today or tomorrow uh, today and tomorrow we'll be at the Haiti Cultural Center in Durham on Old Fayetteville Street oh okay mm -hmm. so here's what I want to ask you okay this is my main question in this technological age mm -hmm. do you still get handwritten letters yes I do uh, I got one just yesterday it was two pages long so yes the, <laughs> the kids really get into that and they write their lists and interestingly I had a, 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 a request list that had the child's handwriting on the left and clearly the parents <laughs> translated what it really right, right, read right, on right, the right okay. so I knew what but does she Santa wanted. have an email I let's see I think I do I've got several ways to get to me I would suggest going to black that okay. way mm -hmm. you can certainly hook up with us and my team and and our our uh, elves and our, <laughs> and our reindeer and we'll get the job done yes oh wonderful 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 well since you know we've been here we've been talking today about Kwanzaa yes so you're free on the 26 right <laughs> <laughs> I'm free and worn out yes. <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere doing those seven days, we can come out. We talked about Santa. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry, I mean Lester, before we go, would you give the website of where people can get more information about the Cary Kwanzaa? Yes, it's www.townofcary.org. And when you type it in, or you can either just Google 24th Annual Cary Kwanzaa, and it'll pop up. We have a lot of marketing and a lot of information that we put out there, so it should be very, very easy to find for those who may not be that computer literate. Okay, and the same thing, Demetrius, tell us where we can find information about AADE Kwanzaa Fest. Yes, you can go to www.aade-inc.org. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and so before we go, all of you are in here together and there's a, always, it's been, I think there's a misconception that Kwanzaa is, is trying to replace Christmas. <laughs> Okay, and, and the one reason that I wanted you all in, in this studio together today is to understand that Christmas is a religious holiday. Mm -hmm. Kwanzaa is a cultural oh. celebration. Yes. And we can all coexist. Absolutely. In, we're all in the same space and there's no reason that we're trying to, one is trying to overshadow the other. Right, there's no competition there. Right, exactly. And it's so important that we come here together to dispel that myth that we are in competition mm -hmm. because Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And as you said, Ms. Coley, this is the cultural art celebration that we're here for. So we're here to have a great time mm -hmm. to show love and camaraderie with all of our community. That's right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So, listen, you've been we're listening to the Spectacular Magazine radio show. That's going to do it for us this week. I am, uh, I've been visiting with Dr. Lester Thomas of the Ujima Group, who was the organizer of the 24th Annual Carry Kwanzaa Celebration. I've been visiting with Demetrius Holder, who is the program director of AADE Kwanzaa Fest, which is taking place in Durham on New Year's Day. And I have been... And Santa has visited with us today, and we are, so my week is set, is set. I will see you next year. I won't be back until after the new year. So I want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Be safe, be prosperous, be happy. I want to thank my in-studio team. I want to thank Sandy. I want to thank Lawrence. I want to thank Misa. You guys have been with and I look forward to working with you as we move into 2019. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm
Phyllis Coley, and you're listening to Spectacular Magazine Radio Show on Foxy 107, 104. Spectacular Magazine. We on the scene.